What's up guys welcome back to fix my home channel today I want to show you how to replace the rod on the Zern Hydrate Z1300 and Z1310 that's a wall hydrant I'm gonna show you a step by step how to cut the rod and replace it so if you're interested to learn watch until to the end So this is the old rod at the, as you see we have here we're gonna unscrew that uh, here and take the rod off so we're gonna measure the same exactly height of the this one so and we're gonna cut that rod and I'm gonna show you how to cut it so you don't mess the uh, thread on the rod so the first thing you need to do you need to bring that knot all the way to the done And then we're gonna find the another knot the same size and we're gonna put the another knot all the way in. As you see we have another knot here so now we're gonna measure it and make a mark on the rod and we start cutting the, the rod. So as you see this is a mark I made it with the saw uh, on, on the rod you see here. So I'm going to start cutting that. So that's why I put the second knot and the other reason. So I can hold it here and it's easy to cut right now. So we're going to cut this. There you go. I just finished uh, cutting. So I'm going to show you guys the trick here. That's why I put the two knot here. So when you finish your cutting, sometimes you mess with the thread. So when you untie that uh, knot, so actually you are retreading the your thread. So that's help to when you want to put some your knot back, so it's gonna go smooth. So always do that on any any you know rod or any threading thing you can do that when you want to cut it use two knots to retread your rod Another thing if you cut your rod a little longer so you can adjust with that uh, knot so as you see I put the knot behind that end and so you can adjust how much is when you want to go in and out here as, as you see I have a hard time to put that in so that's gonna be on clockwise to tie it so it's not the regular so when you do on clockwise it's gonna be tied when you clockwise is gonna be untied is backward so make sure you do that I put this the rod in the place so as you see when I turn it right it's gonna be uh, on a screw and when I turn it right right <laughs> left is gonna be tight so make sure you tight it and we're gonna put the cover back uh, replace all this washer now you open it 
So, so just buy the, there is a kit, I'm gonna put the link in description if I find it. If not, there is, if you Google it, you're gonna find it. So, uh, you're gonna buy this, you have all the part, just replace it. So, to make sure there is no leak. So, I already replaced those and I'm gonna put this back. So, this one is gonna sit here, right there. So, but what is going to hold this is the plate. You have to put this inside the plate like this. I'm sorry, I have one hand. Uh, you have to put it like this. So that plate basically uh, holding that. And I made a mistake here. Don't play, put the plate backward. So that, you see the white side, it has to be in the front. So... I put this bag, I open it and put this bag. So the way you want to tie the screw, so it's the all wrench screw, you have to tie it like you tidying the car, the tire of the car. You know, don't tie one screw all the way in and start the next one. Just do all of them uh, slowly by slowly and uh, just keep doing all the way so all of them be tight. There you go, everything is in the place, tight and nice. We turn on the water from the main. So now we're gonna test it. So after I put the plate back, you see when you turn it to left, it's gonna, the water is gonna come and when you turn it to right, it's gonna tight. So, and you're gonna see a little water is coming, that's normal. So always it's gonna come, as long as it stop. And not con consensually is coming. So, and the stop is perfect. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I will show you how to fix the problem around your home. Don't forget to like the video for the YouTube algorithm. It will help me a lot. And uh, see you guys next time. Take care.